As we just mentioned, Hillary Clinton's emails again the topic of a hearing in Washington today. The State Department told a U.S. district judge it's reviewing 15,000 emails from Clinton's private home server, which her attorneys had not previously disclosed. The revelation came as Judicial Watch, a conservative watchdog group, pressed the State Department in court to speed up the public release of these emails. CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed was at the hearing earlier today, and she is in our Washington bureau. Paula, what happened in court today? Dana, even though Hillary Clinton has been cleared of criminal wrongdoing, the controversy over her emails continues to rage here in Washington. At this hearing earlier today, a judge said that the State Department cannot wait until mid-October to release whatever can be publicly released of those 15,000 emails. He said he's giving them four weeks to come back to court with a better plan. He acknowledged that there are tensions and lots of problems with this particular uh, event, with these emails. But he said that the public has a right to see pot potentially some of these emails that were not turned over in previous lawsuits. And he wants to see it done as quickly as possible. So where did these emails all come from and why haven't we heard about them or seen them at least until now? This specific batch of 14,900 emails uh, were passed over from the FBI to the State Department. The FBI uncovered these during its year-long investigation into whether or not classified information was mishandled when Secretary Clinton chose to use a private email server. Now, these were not previously disclosed by her attorneys, and there could be some legitimate reasons for that. They could be duplicates, they could be attachments, or they could be things that should have been turned over. And if that is the case, those documents will hopefully be made public, according to this judge, in the next few weeks. Yeah. Is there any more certain timeline than that? I know you said that they can't wait till mid-October, but in the next four weeks, they've got to figure out a way. Do we have any more certainty as to when we will know the exact date of release? The judge sure tried to get it from them. He really pressed the State Department lawyers. He said, why is this taking so long? They have a process. They need to review these documents and determine which are public records and which are private. Those which are determined to be public records will be put up for the public to see probably by early October. Now, of course, many people were concerned the use of a private server could potentially put national security information at risk. But the other issue was that when you use a private server, it makes it harder for people to actually obtain public records that they are entitled under law to get. And that's why Judicial Watch has filed dozens of lawsuits against Hillary Clinton trying to get these documents made public. Paula Reed with the very latest in Washington. Thank you, Paula.